Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name is Rebecca and I've got a selection of paintings to share with you today from One Day Saving. Uh, they were kind enough to let me choose a few paintings and they decided to go for special diamond paintings for this month's unboxing. Uh, so most of these, well in fact all of these are partials. A lot of special diamond painting paintings are partials. Um, there's a couple of reasons often for that. Um, one of them is, or the main one, is that they tend to have different shapes in them um, and they don't all fit together the same way that round ones do. Um, also they tend to a lot of the time they have a background that's either too detailed for the size of the painting so it's printed on and then you put an element on that pops um, or sometimes they're quite plain so rather than add a load more sparkle to that your focus is on the actual painting itself. They mainly tend to be made up of rhinestones uh, but then, as I say, there can be special shaped ones in there that add a little bit of a difference to it. So with this, you do get a toolkit, basic toolkit. Uh, the size is down as 30 by 30, but the actual print area is 24 by 24. And that's to allow all the way up to here. So your actual diamond painting part is a little bit less. But as you can see here, we've got quite a few special diamond paint diamonds that go on there. Um, so you don't actually, you, you do the centre, but you don't do the other parts around it. In turn, this bit doesn't have glue on, but this bit where you put the diamonds does. That's what I class as a partial, rather than Say a full drill. A full drill in rhinestones can look effective depending on the image. Um, I have done slash I'm doing dynamic floral which is an all rhinestone painting uh, and due to the design it looks good but on some designs because the rhinestones are a different type of sparkle it can sometimes take away if you did all the background as well. It works on some, but not on all. So to have a look at the diamonds you get in this one. So we actually have more of an AB coated black. It's, well, no, it's not AB. It is iridescent though, uh, an iridescent black. Then we have a rhinestone in a silver. We have a pearlized, more of an AB coating, a bit like a pearl in white. Then we have green rhinestones, blue rhinestones, more blue, some darker pink, paler pink, then we have some gold. Then we get to some bigger shaped diamonds than your standard ones. So we have that in clear. We have oh some nice big turquoise ones. They're an oval. We have some big ones in a black. We have some pink. Ooh, nice big blue ones, uh, tear shaped crystals, heart shaped in blue, teardrop in a dark blue and in a gorgeous hot pink and then we have what looks a bit like peacock feathers, a bit like a glittery shell and they all go on various areas on this hummingbird, Let's try and get them to fold back up again. Uh, various different areas on this hummingbird that's sort of made up with little flowers inside it as well. So you'll see some of the heart shapes go here, some of the teardrop shapes go here. I think that one's actually the iridescent one. Um, but you do get all your shapes down here um, so that you can transfer them across and then you've got some of the smaller ones down the side but they they're really really fun projects sometimes they can be done in an evening sometimes you need a couple of days but they tend to be a little bit quicker than your full drill diamond painting but they're definitely a lot more sparkle that is for sure so special diamond painting number two if i can get it out of the bag this is the only thing sometimes getting them out of the bag 
So we've gone from a hummingbird to a rooster. Uh, this one, you are diamond painting the rooster, but you're also popping some stars in the background. So these look like they're actual stars. And then we've got some that are made up with rhinestones. So we do have a few different sizes of ones here. And by the looks of it, we do have some where it's the same sort of colour, but two different sizes. And that can reflect the light a little bit different. You do get a set of tweezers with this one and some bags if you need them. But to have a look at the pretty diamonds of which there are loads of different ones. Okay, we'll go for this bag first. Uh, so we have some standard rhinestones in a hot pink, pink hearts, clear circles. They're a bit bigger than normal. Then we have what looks like 310, standard. Uh, we have clear rhinestones. Oh, gorgeous, iridescent ones there. They're all sorts of different colors. Then we have some small brown, some slightly bigger blue, teardrops in green and some even bigger rhinestones in a turquoise. In addition to that, we have standard rhinestones in pink, green, blues, couple of blues, turquoise. Then we've got bigger in pink. We've got some pearlized in pink, pearlized in blue, bigger pearlized in blue. There's your stars that we scatter around the background. And then you've also got some slightly bigger than normal rhinestones in a blue as well. So quite a few different ones there that make up your rooster and your background. So you do a little bit of the background on that one, but not the whole kit and caboodle. And then last, but by no means least, Let's go underwater for this one. So we've had in the sky, on the land. Now we're going underwater. No, that was not planned. <laughs> uh, but now we're going underwater with a seahorse. So this one is a little bit longer. This is a 25 by 40, whereas the other two were 30 by 30s. Uh, this is actually 20 by 35 is the actual area. But again, with this one, we're doing the seahorse, but then we're also doing a couple of the bubbles and a little bit of a starfish on this one as well. With this one, we do also get tweezers. Can be handy with some of the more fiddly diamonds to place them with tweezers. But you go for what works for you. It's amazing how many a wax pen will actually pick up some of the big ones it will pick up this number 10 it might struggle but you could possibly paste that by hand so to show you the diamonds for this one we have some pink and some oh gorgeous turquoisey rhinestones we've got some standard 310 we've got these big ovals in this beautiful blue of which by the looks of it you only need two and they've given us four some little teardrops in a blue. Ooh, pretty bigger purple ones. There's that big number 10. Nice big teardrop one. There's two on the painting. You actually get three in there. Then we've got matching rhinestones in the smaller size. Uh, we've got some big blue discs. Nice more of a sky blue type colour. We've actually got that sky blue in a couple of colours, a couple of sizes, sorry. That's bigger and that's a little bit smaller. Then we have another turquoisey, some slightly bigger clear ones, slightly bigger pale blue, bigger clear ones and tiny clear ones. So there's quite a few different sizes of diamonds that will help you to make up this seahorse in full so you may find that you're placing the same color but in different sizes a bit like on the other one um, but it can really help say with the light and how that shines so there we go they are the three special paintings for today i always love to have a few special paintings on the go just for when 
I'm not quite ready to kit up another big project. I want to feel like I've achieved something quickly. And there's some really, really fun images in special diamond paintings. But I'll pop the links down to each of these down below. Of course, you can always click on any one of these and go have a browse at the other ones they have to offer. But these are the chosen animals for today. So thank you all so much for watching. And thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these to share with you all. But I'll speak to you all again soon.